Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekend reading. So this reading today is going Friday 26th, Saturday 27th and Sunday 28th. Um, I'm not available to do your readings over the weekend. So you're finding a, an answer to something that you've been trying to work out how to how to address so if you've been trying to come to some sort of decision or make your mind up about something you're about to get a little bit of a message from spirit to help you out so that's on its way to you i'm going to use the shadowscapes tarot now it's really funny because I, I love this deck but they're so hard to see so i've just ordered a bigger one so hopefully i um i need to have a review and probably give away some of my old tarot decks because they uh, don't suit my purpose anymore. So we'll see how we go with that. I noticed a lot of other readers do that too. So I have a few that I've bought and they just don't, you use them and they just don't resonate. So, okay. So um, please remember next weekend I'm at Bomaderry. Um, the weekend of the 25th of August, I'm at Bathurst. I know I have a following in both those places. And August the 11th, I'm going to do a Facebook Live. I will start at 9.30 Australian time. Um, I'm going to try and go a little bit longer. And then if this works this time, then what I'll do next time is I'll do I'll start whatever I do earlier. Um, I do want to try the YouTube Lives too. So it's sort of like a little bit trying to find my comfort zone. So... Let's see how we go. But if you're not a member of my Facebook page, whip over and join up at the Aussie Goddess. Just give me a like and then you can join us on August the 11th at 9.30am Australian time. All right, let's go with this What's Cracking reading for today. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles coming out here. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is a card that talks of patience. And I know this has been a lot of what's been happening with me lately. Um, I was always a very, very impatient person, um, sort of type A personality, need it done yesterday. And I'd been that way for a long time until I started to understand that was about my anxieties and I started to bring it, you know, into focus a little bit. Um, patience is not something we're naturally gifted with. We want things, we want them now. Um, and I've had to learn over the years how to wait things out, wait for the right time, not push, not uh, try to control. So I guess this card for me represents that giving up of control, letting things happen naturally. It's about asking the universe for what you want and just letting the universe work through it. Not everything's going to happen yesterday. That need for control is a human thing. Um, it's funny, isn't it? Because Everybody else see, saw me on the outside as being so easygoing and so um, placid and inside I'd be like doing the duck thing. Here's the ducks again, guys. Uh, maybe that's why I relate to the tenor ducks so much. But that whole thing of looking calm on the outside while your feet are frantically going underneath the water. And I've learned really to match my energy now with who I am. So I don't feel impatient anymore. I have learned very much to be patient and wait for things to come. So it's a big lesson. I'm not 20. <laughs> okay, so we do have the Eight of Wands behind that, which is really nice because now you have this planting seeds for the future, being patient, not controlling outcomes, but you now have something happening very quickly because you've stepped back here. So the Eight of Wands talks about messages coming over the airways. So something is about to happen here. Um, we do have the Hermit card coming out here. So it could be that you're hearing from someone you haven't heard from for a long time, someone who took time out here. Yeah, the universe is about to flip this in your favour. Very, very nice with the Four of Cups coming out last. This is about some sort of offer. It's also about being bored with things. So it could be that you've wanted action because you've been bored with the way things are going. Um, sometimes things don't move quick enough for us and we want to see them move quickly. The universe is saying, well, you know what? Now it's time. We'll get this going for you. So nice. Very strong feeling of divine timing here. 
Okay, so we have the chariot coming out first. So this is about moving fast. This is about the universe really getting behind you and making sure you're moving in the right direction. Um, you could have been very stuck for a while here, but it definitely means things are moving. We like it. Knight of Pentacles coming out. So the Knight of Pentacles um, is a slow moving energy and it could be why you've had issues or problems. The person you're working with or, you know, dealing with at the moment is very, very slow moving. So it could be that you've wanted to move things along, but realize that there's other people involved here who may want to take their time. Six of Swords coming out here. So this is about moving away from something. Now, already I can feel this energy flip-flopping here. So I want to say to you, remember these are general readings and the energies do turn backwards and forwards. You've got somebody coming towards you very, very slowly here because they've had to deal with their own hermit time. So that's why it's taking a long time, but it is on its way, whatever it is, whether it's a job, whether it's love, five of cups here, someone's gone through some sort of breakup, some sort of heartbreak, someone's lost something here that they've had to move away from. So they're slow, very slow because they're healing. Okay, we do have the devil card. So they're healing from some sort of codependent energy healing from starting to understand and let go of ego. They could be healing from fear here. So somebody might want to approach you over something but has been worried about how to go about doing that because this is like releasing fear. Okay, we have the star here. So it is in divine timing. It's moving the way it should. Everything is in its place. Oh, that makes me feel very Mary Poppins. Um, this is definitely about things happening the way they should do and in perfect order. Perfect. Okay, we do have the hanged man. There's a lot of major arcanas here this morning. So the hanged man talks of looking at things in a very different way. Sort of understanding that not everybody sees things from the same perspective. And sometimes you have to take time out to see things from other people's perspectives too. So this is asking you here to be patient and remember that not everybody is seeing the world the way you are. You have to stop and allow them time to adjust to the world or to adjust to something. Ten of Pentacles coming out here because you're moving towards abundance here, which is beautiful. Um, King of Swords. So some of you are dealing with air signs. Some of you are dealing with something that needs to be said, waiting on communication, Someone delivering a very strong message here. Oh, and there's the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. What a beautiful reading. Okay, so we had the Seven of Pentacles coming in here with the Eight of Wands, the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone is moving towards you. Now, if you've been waiting on a job or you've been waiting on something to start happening and you've become a little impatient about it, I want to say to you, patience being impatient doesn't make it go any quicker. I always liken it to, you know, when you're standing at the traffic lights and you're waiting for the light, the walk light to go green. I'm pretty sure it's probably something similar in every country. And you've pressed the button and then the next person comes up and presses the button. And then the next person goes up and goes bang, 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 bang. And I figure that they're not smart enough to work out. It doesn't matter if you press the button 15,000 times. It won't make the light change any quicker. The first button is what made it change. So I don't know why the universe is showing me that, but I'm sure that's so that you can understand that once you put intentions out there, it's acted on. You don't have to keep hammering at it to get it to, to get people to listen. If you're working with spirit and you say, I want this thing badly, then they will work on it. You don't have to keep hammering at that button to get it done. It just takes time. So if this is about a job, if it's about having something that's successful, if it's about moving forward on something, your own business, whatever this is, it is moving, it is slow, but it's because the other person is going through a great process here of healing. There is here a brand new start, one that's based in clarity, um, one that is able to forge the way forward for you here. Um, as I said, for some of you dealing with the King of Swords, but I do think that this King of Swords just represents the energy coming forward. It's very, it's at king level. So it's very, um, 
powerful very powerful you haven't got a page holding this you've got the king holding this so whoever's moving towards you has an intention a desire they're really wanting to get something done here but they've had to deal with letting go of something can be letting go of ego can be letting go of um, fear but definitely moving towards you now Well, the Seven of Pentacles came out again with the Four of Cups. So there you go. I did all that shuffling and I got the same two cards back again. This is about, yes, I'm sick of waiting. I'm bored with waiting. I'm done. And the universe saying, you need to wait. You need to learn to have patience. You need to learn to um, wait. We're on it. We're doing it. It's just taking time. <laughs> I love my work I really do and I think sometimes I just shuffled the bum out of those and got the same two cards back again so the message is quite clear here just understand the universe is doing the good work and they are trying to bring a resolution for you but if this is about love or you're waiting on someone to return they're doing their own work and they can't make them go any quicker because maybe they're not as spiritual or as open-minded as you are so it's taking the time oh I thought that card wanted to come out then Nope. I'm going to make me work for it, Spirit, today. Yeah, there it is. Wild Woman's come out. Oh, I love this card. I ordered some more decks this morning. I'm totally obsessed. I really am. This card adds up to eight, too, for anybody who likes doing the, uh, the numerology stuff. Um, okay, let's have a look at the extra message for you here. When the wild woman comes to dance in your reading, you're invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to engage the world. This is a symbol that your long held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit in a box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have courage and step into the light. The wild woman says shine brightly, dance with the band and be yourself and let the great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. Oh, well, there you go, guys. So I am absolutely 100% behind spirit here when they say they're doing the work. But I also want to say to you what this is saying, too, is that you are learning lessons while you're waiting. So you are doing growth as well. So don't think your time is wasted, even though you're being, you know, perhaps a little... Um, anxious about how quick this is coming in do not be anxious what they're saying is that you are actually learning as you wait much love to you all